Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book Focus, a creation by Al Rees. Focus, 1996, discusses how American corporations lose money by prioritizing growth, analyzing prevalent management strategies' shortcomings, suggesting alternative approaches for corporations, and providing guidance on focusing a company for enhanced success. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Al Ries is a marketing expert and writer who founded a thriving consulting company. He is the author of popular books like The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing and The Fall of Advertising and The Rise of PR. With nine key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, the key point is that the strongest asset of a company is its focus. The primary objective of most companies is growth, but being large does not guarantee success and can actually reduce the odds of success. In Focus, Al Rees explains how an emphasis on growth can be detrimental to a company. He suggests that going global and keeping up with technological changes are essential for survival. Rees provides examples of how companies can succeed by developing focus, such as through specialization in a competitive marketplace. Key idea number one. Companies generally aim for growth as their main goal. Businesses have a common desire to grow due to cost advantages and benefits of size. Growing allows for cost per unit to decrease, giving a competitive edge with lower prices. Managers aim for growth to increase revenues, decrease costs and maximize profits. Examples like PepsiCo demonstrate a focus on high long-term growth to achieve these objectives. Key idea number two, success is not guaranteed simply by being a big, constantly expanding company. Despite the common belief that larger companies hold more value, there are instances where smaller companies may outperform their larger counterparts in terms of stock market value. This is often due to the issue of focus. All big companies with a broad range of products and services may lack a clear direction and struggle with effective management. PepsiCo's diverse portfolio, which includes beverages, snacks, and fast food chains, contrasts with Coca-Cola's singular focus on beverages, resulting in differences in stock market valuation. Companies benefit from focused management with deep expertise in their specific field rather than attempting to juggle multiple business areas. Key idea number three, management strategies focused on growth can lead companies to become unfocused. Managers aim to expand companies for size benefits. Line extension involves selling various products under an established brand. Diversification focuses on entering new, unrelated markets. Both strategies can lead to loss of focus due to managing various products and increased competition, potentially damaging a company. Key idea number four. Globalization enables companies to grow globally, but may result in a loss of focus. Globalization has made it easier for companies to trade internationally by removing trade barriers through agreements like GATT, NAFTA and APIC. While global trade offers increased opportunities, it can also lead to unfocused strategies and overwhelming competition. Companies may struggle to maintain success in a global market compared to their domestic market. Key idea number five, specialization enhances company focus and performance. To refocus a company, specializing in one product field is key. Specialized companies tend to attract more customers compared to diversified ones. For example, successful companies like Toys R Us focus on only one specialist product field, while department stores like Bloomingdale's and Macias that offer a wide range of products have faced challenges attracting customers. Narrowing the focus by specializing in one field can lead to more success, as demonstrated by the evolution of Toys R Us from a general store to a specialized toy retailer under founder Charles Lazarus. Key idea number six, specialized companies excel due to customers perceiving them as offering superior quality. 
Specialist companies are preferred by customers for their expertise and perceived quality over generalist compatriots, similar to patients choosing a cardiologist over a general practitioner for heart disease. Specialization leads to expert reputation, which influences consumer decisions. Quality perception is crucial for sales and better company performance. Specialized companies like IBM and Coca-Cola outperform unspecialized ones due to their perceived expertise and quality in their respective fields. Key idea number seven, adapt your company as focus to new technologies as they change the market. The text highlights how changes in technology drive changes in the economy. Using Kodak as an example, it demonstrates how failure to adapt to new technology, in this case, the shift from analog to digital photography, can lead to a company's downfall. Emphasizing the importance of staying attuned to technological developments and adapting business strategies accordingly to remain competitive and avoid being left behind in the market. Key idea number eight. A single company should have a singular focus, whereas a conglomerate needs a multifaceted approach. Large, successful conglomerates like General Electric and General Motors effectively manage multiple brands in various markets by implementing a multi-step focus strategy. By clearly defining each brand's target market and price range, they prevent internal competition and aim to appeal to different customer segments. This approach allows conglomerates to maintain focus and avoid profit loss. In conclusion, the main message is that while growth is essential for a company, it can lead to a loss of focus. Global expansion may decrease focus, but specialization can be a saving factor. Specializing can enhance a company's success by boosting consumer perception of higher quality. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.